So just this weekend we had a molecular gastronomy class here at Arizona Culinary Institute and I want to thank the students for coming on out. It was a great turnout, complete sellout. We even had a, a couple extra people in the room, a maximum capacity and it was a great vibe, great energy and a wonderful time. At the class we covered um, some of the basics of the modernist cuisine cooking techniques. Um, we made some powders out of fats using tapioca maltodextrin. Uh, we played around making some foams and some froths. Um, here in the video you can see some reverse spherification. We actually took some white peach puree and sweetened it up a little bit, added some calcium lactate gluconate to it, and then dropped it into a bath of sodium alginate and water, um, which causes the spherification to take place, and then it makes the, the larger size spheres, the, the bombs as we've sort of come to call them. Um, here's sort of the, the ending of the class. It's sort of the, the wow factor, I guess, of, of the entire class. Every time we do it, it's the usage of liquid nitrogen. And we get in about 160 liters of liquid nitrogen and it's uh, 320 degrees below zero. So as soon as you remove it from the doer that it's stored in, you see it immediately start to turn to smoke. It's, it's evaporating at room temperature. And you can use this for freezing pretty much anything, but uh, the biggest thing we do is to try and make the uh, ice cream dots or dip and dot style ice cream. Every class we make a, a couple different flavors and as you can see there we take the ice cream base and place it into some of the squeeze bottles with the triple nozzles which uh, triples productivity and just get our big old bass of liquid nitrogen and drop the ice cream base in and then it uh, freezes on contact let it stay in there for a minute or so um, and then we're gonna go ahead and strain out the dots into a china cap and then place them into a plastic container and it's interesting because uh, the liquid nitrogen frozen ice cream is the only ice cream I'm aware of that you have to let it warm up before you can actually eat it uh, most of the time you want it as cold as possible. This stuff is so unbelievably cold that when you taste it straight out of the liquid nitrogen it actually can uh, freeze or burn uh, your lips and tongue and mouth so you got to be extra careful with it. But you know after it uh, warms up a little bit at room temperature we all always dig in and enjoy and have a great time and um, it's just a, a nice way to finish off the class and everybody has a good time. And here at the school we offer these every six months or so so if you miss this one we'll certainly be doing it again. Just uh, uh, keep your eyes peeled, come to the website, and uh, come back next time.